There are so many AI tools available these days that sometimes it's just difficult to decide which one you want to use. So in this video, I'm reviewing three such tools, uh, ChatGPT, Google Bard, now also known as Gemini, and typeset.io. Uh, all of these are available in free versions. So that's important. That's what I, I'm doing, reviewing uh, tools are available for free. And uh, specifically, I want to test these tools and how they perform in uh, searching the literature. Searching the literature, we're going to explore literature about migrants and uh, their anxiety when speaking English with native English speakers. So let's start with ChatGPT. So my prompt is always going to be the same for all these tools. Find me literature related to migrants' anxiety when speaking to English, native English uh, speakers. As you can see, that's what it does. Absolutely amazing, brilliant as always. Uh, this is the kind of output to expect, although sometimes it will give you a slightly different format. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I tested these tools so many times today, and one thing I can tell you about uh, the first two, so Gemini and uh, ChatGPT, is that they they can perform pretty randomly, so, so I could never decide which one is better. But let's continue our search, uh, and uh, one thing I also want to know is whether uh, specifically qualitative methods are used in any of these articles. And of course, it's quick to respond and it lists the articles that use qualitative methods. And now, uh, finally, I want it to, to uh, give me, if possible, access or maybe links uh, to where I can find all of these articles that it listed, as well as uh, provide citations so I can use, for example, use this in my reference list. And here is where you have to be a little bit uh, lucky, I suppose, and also it depends on the types of articles. Sometimes, more often than not, this is the kind of response ChatGPT will say, I can't really provide links, but I can help you uh, by uh, telling you where you can find these links. So that's the most common response and something I would normally expect from it. However, on one of my attempts, it actually gave me links to some articles. So it's very random in this, uh, in this particular task. However, as you can see, it's still does a pretty good job and also provided the exact uh, citations. So now time for Gemini, formerly known as Google Bard. A couple of weeks ago, I announced I'm leaving ChatGPT for Google Bard because it was, in my opinion, more structured and better for literature searches. I even canceled my ChatGPT Plus subscription, but then Bard started to play up and I came back to ChatGPT. So you could definitely record a pretty good soap opera based on my affairs with both, but I'm giving uh, the same prompt and see how it does this time. Similar to ChatGPT, it can be, the performance uh, can be random. Uh, the initial the initial response is pretty detailed and uh, similar to what ChatGPT would give us. So now let's ask about the qualitative methods. As you can see, the response is again, pretty detailed and what I expected. So finally, the question about uh, citations and uh, possibly links to where I can find these articles. As always, this is where it gets pretty random. So uh, in many cases, uh, Bard will give you uh, links and it's more likely than ChatGPT to give you specific links. It does give you uh, citations, so full citations I can use in my reference list. Otherwise, it's pretty similar to what ChatGPT did. It does give me some additional resources and links. Um, but for the actual articles, it does not provide any links. Perhaps I'm just unlucky and the articles both these tools found are not open access. Maybe it's just not possible to uh, to find them. More often than not, however, uh, Google Bard would outperform, in my opinion, ChatGPT, although sometimes it's the other way around. In one of my uh, rehearsals uh, or searches uh, prior to this recording, uh, ChatGPT provide me some links and this one didn't. So it's pretty random. Ch uh, Google Bard likes to sometimes throw in some photos as well. So the last search I did, it used some photos and, and images just to make it, I guess, more interesting. But now finally, let's use uh, the tool that's specifically designed for literature searches. It's something I reviewed in one of my uh, recent videos. So uh, you can go and, and have a look. I'm using the free version, however, I do have a premium. If you want to buy a premium version, I do provide a pretty big discounts, almost 50%. Go ahead and check my other videos. But like I said, we're just going to focus on the free version now, which will do the job. Uh, the first thing, of course, that I like is uh, are the summaries that this tool provides. So in addition to providing the list of 
articles, it also gives you this main summary of what we can learn from these articles, which is, in my opinion, absolutely great for somebody who wants to start exploring a new topic. Then uh, next to each article, it provides also a little summary, uh, which is great, of course. And you can also uh, ask, as you can see, the format is there as well. I like how it's uh, written basically for our citations, so I'm not even going to ask uh, about it, although it does specify that as well. You can uh, you can uh, get a full citation from it. And then you can ask Copilot about each individual article as well. So this is for our question, uh, for example, about uh, qualitative methods. And as you can see, uh, the response is pretty detailed. So, so you can ask, uh, as I explained in my other video, full review, uh, this is obviously very convenient. You can ask any kind of question about any article. And then uh, whenever the article is available, you can just click on it and you can also read it through this platform, which is super convenient, uh, needless to say, as well as use a whole bunch of useful uh, tools such as uh, tools for summarizing the text, explaining the, the text, or even translating it into other languages. So of course, uh, this is extremely convenient, especially uh, for what it just did to us. So finding the actual article, uh, the thing where the other two tools obviously didn't well, uh, didn't do that well. So I suppose to summarize, uh, I think it's clear that typeset dot IO is the best tool for searching uh, the literature. Uh, as I said, it's still available in the free version. So, so even the free version is, is uh, outperforming the other two, which is not surprising because it was designed specifically for this purpose. However, the other two are still worth uh, a go. And as you can see, as I explained, they can be pretty random. So I guess uh, the conclusion would be to just try them both and see how they perform on a given day.